All right, Model Rock 321 here back with another video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check the links below. Also hit the thumb up button so more people can find the video. So today we're going to be talking about um, decals, Model Rocket decals. Um, it's always a big deal um, for some people and for myself. And that's the final step to the rocket to make it, that brings it, it gives it its flavor. So um, today we're going to talk about the Space Shuttle. I recently finished, I had a crash a while ago. But I fixed this one all back up. Um, I ordered some decals from Sticker Shock. Uh, they have some nice de decals, but they're vinyl. Um, they're on this vinyl material, you know, where you cut them out, you stick them on, and you peel off the top layer, and it leaves the, la the decal left behind. But for scale, I'm not really liking that that much. The, these decals, they're just, the vinyl is thick. You know, and you want water slides, you want them as thin as possible. You don't want to be able to feel them like these decals I can feel. I don't mind these. For some reason, I don't mind being able to feel these. For some reason, they don't bother me that much. The windows, I don't mind. This, All this is fine. But these here, they're just a little thick. Um, I don't know. So I may, I'm ordering, I already ordered some water slides from Tango Papa. Um, they're going to be a lot nicer, I believe. But sticker shocks, no knock on them. They have really good stuff. Um, there would be slight little issues that throw me off with these. If you look at the word United States right here, the flag is upside down. I'm not sure. Like It's like it was mirrored, but it was mirrored the wrong way. Like this is right. I had to cut this. I had to cut the flag off and reverse it to get it right. So it's just these little issues that you find sometimes with decal, detail, decals. Even with Tango Papa, a couple times I've had some that wasn't reversed and I had to do something. I think I let them know it was years ago, but they've gotten a lot better. Tango Papa's made some really good um, water slides. Um, I've been getting them from there for years. So I was trying to use these vinyl ones just to give them a shot. But on scale, I don't like vinyl decals. So some of these are going to get pulled off. Even the word NASA, it's just like it's too thick for me. Like, that's just me. Like, for scale, I want, I'm a little more... A little more aggressive when it comes to the scale. I want them a little more like this is this thick, like a sticker almost. It's not super thick. It is thin. It's a thinner vinyl. But that's just, it's just sticking up. The word NASA. And you can see like a white border around it. So I'm going to be getting rid of that. And I didn't put name decals on yet because they're all just, they're not right. It's going to be similar to the NASA. Um, So this video is a rant. <laughs> just to let you know, this is a rant video. <laughs> it like all, oh, it says Challenger, Columbia, Discovery, Atlantis, Enterprise. I didn't do Endeavor. For some reason, they didn't do Endeavor, but they did Enterprise with these decals. I don't, I don't, or it could have had, at least had Endeavor also. But I'm just going to not use, like, they gave you a whole lot of them at least, but just, I need something different. I'm going to wait till the water slides come, and I'm going to do the name, and I'm going to do NASA. I'll probably peel some of this off. I'm going to get it right, um, because they're not, I didn't, I didn't clear coat yet. Like, these ones, I will leave all these little details. I'll leave those on there. I'll leave those. This, I, I did this shape. This is all with vinyl, um. I used some vinyl material I had myself, and I cut that, you know, to shape um, to make this um, the upper fin or the air brake or whatever. So that's just my rant when it comes to these sticker shock decals. Like I said, I do like them, but these just for, if you cared for scale, I just need something else. I, I need something more um, more accurate, just thinner, like thinner. You want water slides. Um, so on this one, this is a voice aerospace it's my SA5, Saturn 1 SA5. It came with vinyl. I didn't mind this. You can feel these, like, but it's not too bad. I did a lot of detailing up here on my own. Like, I made all these, the rivet section. I, that's all the water slide. I made that myself. Um, these numbers, they're water slides because he didn't. his didn't come with any um, tail numbers. You know, and I added a lot of weight to this thing by doing all these extra details and these fuel pipes and all this stuff. But this, there was vinyl. The checkerboard was vinyl. I think there was only two the decals that he gave with this kit. All the rest I had to add. You had to add yourself. So, but I um I don't mind those too much on that rocket. It's kind of cool. You can I can actually get if I want to peel these off. I can actually get the United States. But I'm fine with this. This is um this this works. That works. I had no problem with that. A while ago I restored this little Joe two um this boilerplate edition. Um, I got uh, Don over at Retro Rockets. Be sure to check Don out. Don has some really good stuff going. He put a nice video out recently um, talking about the little Herc. He does a lot of vintage rocket stuff, similar to mine, but he different lane. Real nice, nice production. He made these for me. He did these decals for me because I, 
I used to make my own decals and I really enjoyed it because I you just you can make your own like your own however many you need whatever you need you can make them that's back when I had this is a rant back when I had Photoshop um I was able to go in there and do all kinds of stuff Photoshop and Illustrator these days now my software got outdated according to them I had a laptop and it was working just fine but now if you know anything about Adobe and the software companies you can't even I can't even use the software anymore um they did away with any support, any what kind of way to connect. They won't even connect. I can't even, it won't work. It's just done. It's older. I grant understand that, but they just make it obsolete. I hate that. Like I paid for this. They need to fork out some money. This is something I paid for and I was still able to use for a long, long time making decals and stuff like this. And um, now all of a sudden I can't use it. You have to pay for a subscription, a monthly, and I'm not giving Adobe any money. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. I've been trying to use GIMP. That's just a little more wonkier. It's just, it's Photoshop, but different. It's just different commands and stuff that I'm just not used to. It's very hard to execute anything in there. So these decals were made on, um, with Photoshop. You know, use some US flag, some ESA stuff, some Virgin Galactic, some JPL um, decals. And these are some skunk works. These are from a good while ago. They're all clear coded and ready to go, but Man, it just pisses me off that I can't use my old Adobe suite that I had. Um, and they should, I think that if they're going to make something obsolete, they need to pay you for it. Like now all of a sudden they want me to pay for a subscription, which I'm not going to get. I just have to learn GIMP, I guess, because I do have some decal paper. I can make start making some decals again. But man, it is, um, it's horrible. I hate it. I hate it. That's one of the things I hate in this world when some things go obsolete. They're working perfectly fine. And next thing you know, the company wants to do something different and yours no longer works. So you got to buy again. I hate that. So that's my rant for today. Another thing when it comes to de de um, decaling and doing details, I actually did the O-rings on the Space Shuttle Orbiter. So this is the um, SD's kit 1285. This is going to lock on there like that. It came out really nice. I really like it with those O-rings. As you can see, it looks really nice. I'm not going to do any more to it because there's another tan part to go below these O-rings, some more insulation, I believe it is. So I um, and there's some de decals that go on these boosters too. These four uh, four circles like together. This decal right there goes on there. But like I said, I'm just going to wait for the water slides and I'm going to continue with this again. And I'm going to make it complete with the water slides. Now what I did this um this part with was this vinyl tape. This is like some 16th inch vinyl um, tape. You can use this for all kinds of stuff, but it works great for doing um, stuff like that right there. So I added those details to the uh, space shuttle, to the um, solid rocket boosters. Just something cool that you can do if you um you know if you're inclined to do some more um detail work to them. Yes, yeah, right here I got it off Amazon, like five bucks or something. I have this in red too. If you remember a while ago, I did my stealth alpha. Let me get that. So yeah, here's the Stealth Alpha, and I used that tape again. This was the red um, tape, so I still have some of that around. And I just went and I did all those markings using that tape. So it's just another idea. And then you can see the skunk works here. That's one of my one of my decals I made, which I just showed right there. I think that one's a little bigger. Is that a little bigger? That's about the same. So yeah, that was on white decal paper. You can get the white and the clear, um, and make your own. Make your own. You just print them out. I know they Tango Papa uses the Alps printer. I think Alps is this is these cartridges. It's pretty cool. It's like CMYK color streams and you and it prints them really nice. I'm pretty sure this was done either. This is a very old century decal. This could have been an Alps type thing or silk screen. I'm not sure because I think there's a way to silk screen decal decals also. These are just some vintage century ones. I'm not even sure if these will bust apart or not because they're um you could clear them again. I could clear them, but I've had I've cleared them and let other ones and they still busted apart so I don't know but yeah this is just some decal talk um, stuff if you ever have to do you can use like I said for um, details and design and stuff use the vinyl they sell this stuff you can get many colors of this too that's one thing that's cool with all kinds of colors so you can do all kinds of stuff with that but yeah guys just wanted to share this video with you real quick this is my rock 321 share the channel be sure to share the video you can copy the link and you can send it to somebody through a text message or whatever you want to do you can put it in a group whatever i don't mind any of that stuff um just sharing the hobby just sharing a hobby check the links below support the channel any way you can another video about some decals and stuff like that coming up on the end at the end of this video so be sure to 
check that out and this has been model rocks 321 we will be back with another video i'll be back